What's going on, everybody? It is D-Man coming back at it again with another YouTube video. And today, we got Harold Landry coming tomorrow. So today, we got a Ryan Tannehill, who, in my opinion, is a pretty solid quarterback. You get set feet lead and all that. Um, you, know, it, it, you know, you should pick your poison. You want Vince Young, who can run around. Do a bunch of glitchy stuff, uh, or do you want Tannehill? Sit back, throw dimes, um, and do what he does. That's up to you. That's just how you play the game. Uh, and then the day after we get a 89 Ryan Tannehill, we get a 92 overall Harold Landry. So here's what he's looking like. And my goodness, he looks really good, guys. Um, 88 speed, 89 Excel. Has to be one of the fastest outside linebackers in the game right now. With 80 strength, 92 tackling, 88 play wreck, 87 block shed, 79 power move, and 93 finesse move. Really, really good looking card here. Um, the power move is a bit low, but you already got a lot of run stoppers out there with your clowny. Um, yeah, yeah. I guess that's kind of it. I mean, you could say curse, but curse is more of a. Uh, I think he's. I think curse is a little bit better against the pass. Um, but nonetheless, Harold Landry really. He looks really good. I might. Man, I really, really. I you know I know these guys are going to be super expensive because they're LTDs, uh, and it really kind of stinks because I don't want to spend all my coins on this Harold Landry when we have. Um, you know, Team Diamond's coming on Friday, which I've been saving up a lot of different players. Um, you know, I've been saving up my golds and stuff, uh, for those guys to go into the sets. So, um, if I were you guys, I would just power up Harold Landry to his highest tier tomorrow, um, and rock with that. Um, because it, we, we know his LTD is going to be pretty expensive, um, you know, due to the fact that, you know, how fast he is. And just because he's an LTD, they're, he's going to be expensive no matter what. Um, so I really, really like this card. It is kind of a repeat of last year. We got a 93 Harold Landry last year LTD, so it's kind of a repeat. Uh, but at the same time, you know, I don't mind it. Um, you know, we could have we could have gotten like a Kevin Byard. We could have gotten. Um, I guess there's not that many, you know, or Rashawn Evans, which I wouldn't have been a big fan of, but uh, we could have got him. We could have gotten a Jeffrey Simmons, who I wouldn't have minded. Uh, we could have gotten a... Already got all of our linemen are pretty pretty high overall already. Uh, but we could have gotten... Who else? I guess this is about it. On the offensive side of the ball, we already have high overall wide receivers. We don't have any power up at tight end. Um, and Tannehill just got an upgrade. So, yeah, I guess it would have to come down to, you know, Harold Landry. Rashawn Evans, Jeffrey Simmons, and they went ahead and went with uh, Harold Landry. So, hey, I don't mind this at all because this dude's going to be really, really good. He's going to be a really good spy if you wanted to have him as a spy. Uh, but we already have very fast ends with, um, you know, Clowney and Javon Curtis. You could already be, you know, they could already be spies because uh, you probably want this guy rushing off the edge trying to get home because he's going to be pretty glitchy, uh, I would imagine. But that is not it. We also have Lyle Collins coming tomorrow. So, again, not the flashiest LTD uh, drop, but we do get a Titan, which is pretty cool. You only get that, you know, once, you know, you only get the Titans, I think, well, at, le at least a base Titan. Uh, you know, who knows that we might get like a Logan Ryan who gets Titans chemistry, but I didn't really count as a Titan. But um, last year, they kind of they, they kind of did a couple teams wrong at the end. But last year, I think at least like... 26 teams got two LTDs and the Titans were one of them. Uh, we had Harold Landry and Kevin Byard last year. Um, but there were six teams that only got one LTD. I would imagine they do it uh, the same way this year, try to get every team to, uh, two LTDs. Uh, so we see the Titans already get one with um, obviously Harold Landry and we'll have to wait and see. Uh, you know, they'll go through the entire rotation first, so they'll give each team an LTD, all 32 teams an LTD, and then they will restart. Uh, and it won't be the same order like uh, I can't remember who our first LTD is, but let's say it was a I don't know a Packer and a um, Bengal. It wouldn't be a Packer Bengal. Same thing, you know, the next 32 players. It would be you know different. It, you know, every every team would end up with two. So I would imagine that's what they're trying to do this year. Um, 
which means we get two guaranteed LTDs Titans if we aren't one of those six teams that got screwed over last year. Um, and hopefully we don't get screwed over this year because uh, I know a lot of teams are pretty upset because LTD cards are pretty, pretty good because you guys see they're really high overall. They're going to be very expensive um, and, and more than likely they're going to be, uh, you know, pretty high in overall at the time of their release. So um, you do want to get, you know, as many LTD players as you want. Again, they're going to be expensive, but, you know, we'll have to see what they do when the season changes over to season two uh, and see if these guys get like... You know, maybe they get reduxed or maybe they get like a bypass, a training bypass option. Um, but I would imagine they do a redux like last year. But we haven't even talked about Lyle Collins. Let's go ahead and talk about him. 90 strength, 92 awareness, 90 pass block, 89 pass block power, 87 pass block finesse, 92 run block, 93 run block power, and 91 run block finesse. Guys, he looks really good for in the run game, guys. Um, powered up, he's got 93 run block, 94 run block power, and 92 run block finesse. Yeah, this dude's going to be really, really good, too. Um, and the Cowboys always have a really good line. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's your two guys. You got Lyle Collins on the offensive side of the ball. And then you have Harold Landry on the defensive side of the ball. Both guys look pretty solid. Not anything too flashy. But at the end of the day, two really solid cards that you could definitely add to your team. Um, you know, if you have a God Squad, probably going to add these two guys to your team just because they're both really really solid at their position um so yeah with that being said that is going to do it for the video hopefully you guys did enjoy until next time i'll see y'all